Your local doctor's office or your visit to the hospital may be very busy with a lot of patients. That's because Nevada lacks thousands of nurses. We've told you how the pandemic made the problem worse. Many are calling for change to get even more workers into the state. Because of shortages, you know, there are nurses out there that may have higher, you know, patients that they're having to care for because we simply don't have the workforce. Nevada's population keeps growing and more locals will need a doctor and a nurse. State officials say we are short more than 4,000 registered nurses and are 48th in the nation in nurses per capita. Many healthcare workers, hospitals and schools are asking the state to lure more workers here. Light for me because it's just cumbersome to have to apply for a license. Imelda Reyes recently moved here from Georgia to work for the UNLV School of Nursing as an associate dean of advanced education and practices in student health. She needed a new license to work in Nevada. Nurses, though, who work in more than three dozen states don't have that problem. All of these states are part of the Nurse Licensing Compact, allowing workers to move and work freely among the states. As I started realizing that 37 states were a part of it and didn't have this additional barrier, it does cause issues. We have students that are all over the country and we have faculty. Reyes says it takes just a few days for a temporary Nevada license and two months for a permanent one. But it's an extra cost. Some nurses told state officials the process delayed their date to start work. Healthcare members are working 12 to 14 hours a day and seeing up to 10 patients an hour. The pandemic aggravated long-term systemic problems in, with turnover and burnout. Some nursing unions voiced opposition. Lawmakers are not fixing the root problem of Nevada's shortage, working conditions, and safety concerns. We have nurses who do not want to go back to the bedside because of conditions set up by their employers. The Nevada Hospital Association says the state also needs around 1,600 more doctors in different specialties. Many in healthcare are working to lure even more here because there just are not schools for some of those specialties.